I got you. Whew. I'm here for you. My goodness. It's all mental. Ooh. It's all mental. We've been preparing this whole time. Ooh. Hey guys. Welcome back to another video. It's Avi. And DQ. And we're back. <laughs> In this video, we are preparing for a water birth. Yes. Well, we're just going to show you guys, take you guys with us as we prepare for a water birth. Yeah. Um, so it's just practicing. Um, I know that water, like, having birth, giving birth in the water is like super relaxing. Um, it helps with your contractions and it's just more of a peaceful way for your baby to come through mm -hmm. on earth side. Like, cause they're already in water and when they come through in the water, in the tub, whatever, it's just more peaceful. So facts, facts. that's what we are planning to do. So we're just gonna take you guys with us. Mm -hmm. um, as we prepare and just kind of like practice laboring um, like the kind of things I'm going to do so I've been really prepping and preparing this time around um, my last pregnancy when I was pregnant with King I wasn't very active I was a couch potato huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah now she's really active we're going walks every day we're going some pretty long walks oh my gosh um, she's doing a lot I'm proud of her yeah and then with you know our firstborn being so like young i'm always active so yeah. i'm definitely not a couch potato this she time. does not sit down she's picking up waters she's <laughs> freaking picking up him to put him in the bath i'm like babe ask for help he's a heavy big boy oh my god you know i gotta do what i gotta do i still got mm -hmm. things to take care of so. yeah but yeah, she's so. doing great guys um we want to show you guys something Hold, we, we yeah. haven't showed them in a while Hasten. we haven't showed you guys hasten blue mm -hmm. so let's show you so big. Yeah, that's huge. So let's ask you some questions. Like Have you been kicking a lot? The question is, when is he not kicking? Mm -hmm. He's kicking 24-7. Especially, I say he's most active at night when I'm like going to sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's more active, King or Hasten? Your second baby? Hasten blue. Yeah. Like, I, I, it, it's to the point where I kind of complain. I'm like, okay, I love you. Chill out. Chill out. Like, it's been times. Do you remember this? When I was pregnant with King and he wouldn't move sometimes and I would get worried. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, babe, he hasn't kicked all day. Let's go. What if something's wrong? You're like, he's going to kick. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I say that. So, what everybody wants to know, are you ready for this delivery? Are you nervous? Like, what is the vibe? I mean, I've been through it before, so I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Mm -hmm. But I'm more confident with giving birth this time around, so yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I have questions for you, Dad. All right. All right, Dad, are you ready to be a father of I'm, two boys? I'm already a father. I know, of two boys. Yes, I'm ready. You ready? Are you ready for this birth? This time? Preparation I had to do and still have to do. Mm -hmm. But I would say I'm, I'm getting ready. I don't think nobody's 100% ready. So I'll say 85%. 85% you're ready. So you're ready mentally? Mentally, I'm ready. Physically? Physically, you know, I'm always ready. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, He's coming really soon, so yeah. gear up. I am. Yeah. Anything else you got to say? Um, Hazen, this is a vlog for you guys. You guys will see this when you guys get older. And I want to say, Hazen, I love you so much. Um, what? I didn't know we was doing all of that. Oh, I'm, I'm over here making it a thing. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Look at you. Now you want to redo yours. <laughs> We're keeping all this in. Y'all are getting the, the whole... We didn't, whole, we didn't plan on no, doing it, all this. No, it's not scripted. This is the natural yeah, us. It is. We're keeping this video in. Okay. Hasten, I love you. King, I love you. Aww. That's it. Mommy loves you too. <laughs> Look at you see that? <laughs> Mommy loves you too. I love you more. Okay. Aww. <laughs> That's all the questions? Um, I think so. Ask me a hospital question. 
Oh. So guys, she been trying to quiz me on a um. Hold on. Oh, she been trying to quiz quiz me on hospital questions since it's like only fucking us. Mm -hmm. uh, so ask me. Let's see how. Let's see how. Ask me too. Don't ask me a lot. Okay. Um. How many centimeters dilated do I need to be in order to give birth? Ten. Oh, you said that, but no problem. Okay. Um. Hmm. What are contractions? Contractions is not when the baby is about to come. Contractions is basically, it's a buildup. So it's like practice. It's practice before the real thing comes. And you're thinking of Braxton Hicks. Oh! Braxton Hicks <laughs> contractions. No. No. I know what contractions are. I, now I know. What are contractions? Contractions are when the baby is about to come. It's levels of contractions. like. The first stage, second, third, fourth. To go all the way up. I know. I don't explain it in the way she explained it, but I do know what it is. I, am I right though? Is so that what kind are you of trying how? To, what exactly are you saying? Like, what are you saying? How about you explain it and not go off of that? But this is a test for you, hun. What are contractions? You kind of was on the right thing. I just want you to like the first. Really the first time I said it or the second one. So you said it. It's the opposite of what you said the first time around. You said. It's the practice. All right, guys. You see, Avi. Pre um, she she got it wrong. So, look at she mad. Stop being mad. She got it wrong. I got to ask her two questions right. So she have one more chance. One more. If I get the if I get three right, that's how you know. What is a catheter? Come, on. come. On. What is a what? A catheter. A catheter. Yes. Could you give me a definition, please? They put the catheter, cath I can't even say it. They inserted the catheter. That's easy. It's the thing that goes into the woman's um, vagina. Am I right? Yes what or no? What does it do? When That's what I've been talking oh, about. I did, a lot of things I did, that go in the woman's I did stuff right and she wanted me to do the extras. No, it's not the extras. You said it's the thing that goes in the, the you thing, know how many Let me prove my queen wrong, my Capricorn queen. <laughs> it's the thing that the doctor puts in the woman's vagina. Mm -hmm. What does it do? What is it the purpose detects, of it? It detects how far along is the baby. How far is the baby? Something like that. I'm not going to give you guys the right definition <laughs> how you guys want it, but... Give me the green light or the red light. Am I right or wrong? I'll give you like a 70%. Why is that? Explain, please. You're right, but you didn't like go into like full explanation. You know I'm not good with the fully explanation, <laughs> but I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but the catheter is used right. It gets inserted and you can um, basically you get that when you, um, what is the shot called? Now, I've been having mommy brain like crazy. Yeah, and you know this. It was a lot of stuff. You're like, babe, what is um, The epic girl. Mm. Mommy brain. So we want to give her a pass because she has mommy brain. But, but let, that's basically what a catheter is. I yes. mean, I didn't explain it. I didn't even get a chance to explain it. Oh, go ahead. Explain it. <laughs> but yeah, it's just basically, yeah, it gets inserted. And you, you mo mainly get them when you get an epidural um, because you can't get up to go use the bathroom. So they put a catheter in. But the real purpose is to um, keep track of the contractions. So if they're like going, you're getting them back to back or too frequently, mm -hmm. doo -doo, it's just like they're able to like chart it. And let me explain something to you as, you know, a professional. When they put that in the woman, it's really good for people that have C-sections because it can detect if they need to get cut open immediate, immediately or if they have some time to have a, um, a, a vaginal birth. Coming from me, the professional that that doesn't do his work. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, I do my work. I'm a Virgo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything else, my queen? Good job. That's exactly what it is. So, speaking of C-section and all that kind of stuff, looking for a V-back. Oh, what is man. a V-back? A V-back is when the V is on his back. <laughs> I'm saying a V-back is a vaginal birth. What does it stand for? Vaginal birth. Vaginal birth. Mm-hmm. That's it, ain't it? AC, VBAC. Oh, back. um, vaginal birth, C section. After C section. After C section. Yes. So, <laughs> good job, honey. She's been good teaching job. me everything, man. I'm so, becoming professional at the end of the day. Yeah, it's it's way I can't think of any like real questions right now, so, so I'm giving him like basic. 
But um, <laughs> no, had to, but had, to no, no. had to humble me as a Capricorn. Has no, you just have to that write. just lets you know that you really like you know kind of know your stuff. Come on, y'all know I know a little good shit too. I know that some guys don't know this. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So because I am pushing for V back, which you just said, vaginal birth after C-section, mm -hmm. um, they do have to insert like a catheter in me and yeah to keep track of the contractions because if i'm having them back to back that's not like too frequently that's not a good sign mm -hmm. so it's like an earthquake you know how like the little thing detects earthquakes yeah it's like going too fast a little weird earthquake. Thingy. yeah yeah so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys didn't know yes um i would love to have a home birth um but because I am considered high risk, because I'm so close, like you're supposed to give yourself about 18 months before you start having, before um, trying to get pregnant get again. Pregnant. Yep. However, 18 months didn't happen. Um, so I'm high risk. <laughs> so yeah, so um, this is like, I'm getting all personal with you guys, but yeah so she's yeah, gonna she's gonna have that feedback um yeah life is what you make it whatever you want in life you can get mm -hmm. um sometimes stuff don't go your way but it's all about um how could i put it just being prepared for anything basically exactly so but, i'm just taking all kind of preparation yes yes what were you about to say, about to say something? but um oh i got something to tell you guys so i learned something pregnancy is like boxing Oh, God. So she right now she's in training camp. So if you guys know boxing, boxers have to go through training camp and then they go through uh, fight night. Mm -hmm. So she's in training camp and then when she's about to deliver the baby, that's fight fight night. So it's the mm -hmm. same thing. It's the same pepper preparation. This is the hard stuff right now. And usually, honestly, women are supposed to just fly the babies out. And that's why boxers say the fight when I get in the fight and um, fight that's night, really it's the part. easiest part. Training camp is supposed to be the hard part. Ooh. So how the world is, the the matrix, they kind of took that power away from you, woman. But I'm telling y'all, do y'all research and y'all be flying them out like nothing. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah. of us we fear birth. Yeah, I feared birth too, but it's from lack of education. So the more I'm educating myself, is the more the more I'm empowering myself. So I feel more prepared, mm -hmm. um, more excited about it. Um, so yeah, it's just, yeah, like you said, preparation. So mm -hmm. that's what I've been doing. That's why I've been very physical. Cause I'm like, I'm trying to have a, a, mm -hmm. a really smooth, easy birth. Mental. Mental, that's mm -hmm. the main thing. They say birth is pretty like what, 85% yep. mental and the rest is physical. So mm -hmm. when you got this so locked, you got everything. everything else falls mm -hmm. into place. So, yeah. yep. That's so she's been learning a lot. I'm proud of her. Every night, um, every night, every night she's getting her mental together. She's on her walks. She's doing everything. Her breathing. She put me on a video. I thought breathing was like what I thought it was, but <laughs> she had to humble me. And the breathing is different. So breathing is so important to pre all the pregnant women out there. Yeah, breathing yeah. is everything. It's everything, man. Yeah, it helps you get through your contractions. Um, it helps your body loosen up mm -hmm. so that the baby can go through the birth canal. It's a lot. So yeah. we getting ready. Yep. Well, let's. Little man's almost here. That part. But let's get ready for this. This bathtub. Yeah. So that's this is another preparation that we're doing. Let's go. We just taking on with us. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm here with you. 
You got this. You're doing amazing. Oh, oh my goodness. You got this, baby. Oh. You're doing it. Oh, I just want to hang on. Come on, hang on. Oh. I got you. Oh. I'm here for you the whole time. Properly. She was calm, relaxed. Um, as a partner, I was right there on the side of her making sure I had to do what I had to do. Perfect. perfect. Um, I can say I do have a lot more work to do, um, and I will get there. But I got to give myself grace. I gotta give, we got to give each other grace. I'm proud of you, baby. I'm you proud of you. You really good. Like, I felt really supported. Mm -hmm. I felt nurtured. Like, it was just also genuine. Mm. Like, I think we got this. We got this. I think we got this. The best team, team in the world. And Hayes and Blue, whenever you're ready, we'll be ready. That part. Okay. Well, guys, that's the end of this video. If you like these type of videos, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Anything else you want to say, babe? No, just thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.